everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see, things are going pretty well. We've got our jungle gym all done and ready to go. River's already using it, so done. You know, end of story. Okay, yeah, obviously we still got a ways to go, but a big uh, change since yesterday. I forget, I forget exactly where I did the video yesterday, but I believe I was only three um, of these joists in. Uh, I was able to finish up the, uh, the fourth one by the end of the day yesterday, and then I did this and this this morning. Uh, and then what I did is I started uh, measuring off along these uh, at three inch increments. I put lines on all of the uh, floor joists going down and that's for registering all of these uh, I don't know, floorboards, slats, whatever you want to call them. Uh, as you can see, there is, these are each inch and a half wide with an inch and a half uh, air space between them. It's really going to let a lot of air come up through, uh, through there. Before I did this, I made sure that I got all of these um, floor joists nice and plumb, straight up and down level. I put these uh, posts, uh, kind of temporary posts in, clamp them together, use these tie down straps to get them all nice and vertical because once I put the posts in, I don't want to be fighting with the deck to try to get things uh, nice and vertical later on. Uh, so I could have just started throwing the stuff down right away, but I really wanted to make sure that I got these things straight up and down, nice and perfect, so that when we drop in those posts later, I'm not having to fight against it. Uh, when I get about a third of the way over, which I almost am, uh, what I'm going to do is take all these posts and move them to the destination side over here. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same kind of thing again, where I'm going to put the posts in, clamp them in, put a uh, level on them, and make sure that everything over here is nice and level as I start to approach it. So, you know, we're not fighting when we get to the end. What I'm doing right now is just dropping these guys in. I'm using 16D nails, uh, which are not quite as long as I would like. They bite in maybe only about an inch, um, you know, beyond the two by threes. Uh, so, uh, because I've got the two by threes not flat, but up on end. So what I'm doing is afterwards I'm sinking them using this nail sink. Uh, before I do that though, I am uh, doing some pilot holes just so they don't split, especially at the end. And this is something I started part way through. Instead of putting the nails in the middle, I'm putting one on one side and then the other one kind of on the other side of the board. And I'm finding that's giving the boards a lot more uh, kind of side to side stability. They don't wiggle quite as much. Yeah. Get this guy in here. These uh, boards are two by threes, like I said, they're eight feet long. I wasn't able to get anything longer. I guess it's kind of rare to even find them longer. And uh, what I'm uh, able to do is to get uh, you know maximum two of these bays out of each one of these boards. Okay. And then watch out for these loose ones, River. I'm lining this up with the line I put down over there. Okay. And then I'm using this to sink it almost another inch. So we get about two inches of penetration down into the wood. Ooh, that's the first one that's cracked open. Yeah, yeah. So cracked open. Okay. Um, and this is what we're doing just along the whole the whole uh, run of it. Um, like I said, some are going two bays. I've got some that go one bay. And the idea is that wherever there's a joint, I'm alternating. So it's joint, continuous, joint, continuous, joint, continuous. So you get that nice uh, rigidity straight through. Well, it kind of bums me out. That's the first time I cracked one. It's not a big deal. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get covered up and you'll never notice it. But aesthetically, that bothers me. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.